Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and Lock Here Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 20 Congruency of Triangles Exercise 20 A Question Number 1 and this is the C part. Now, what does this part say? So, we have to use the ASA congruency rule, right? You can see here that is given apply applying the ASA congruence rule. So, we have to use the angle side angle congruency rule. What does the ASA rule basically stand for? The angle, right? Angle and then side and then the angle once again. So, what does this mean? There will be two angles that will be given and one side will also be given. We have to tell if it is congruent by looking at these three things, right? Two angles, one side. Again, the two angles have to be of the same measure and the side has to be of the same length in both the triangles that are given to us so that we can see as well now first one it says what that we are given with uh, basically it's given first we have four centimeters as our side right the side measures four centimeters and ef right this one this also measures four centimeters two angles given are 60 degrees and 40 degrees then again 60 degrees here and for, uh, 40 degrees here we don't have to look at this angle that is not given right we don't have to look at this one just look at the two angles that are given to us in the question right so first is of 60 degree and the other is also of 60 degrees right and again the side measures of the same length so we can say the, uh, that this one is also congruent so uh, this is the C part or the third part and it's the first one of this it's Again, congruent, so write it in a proper sequence. Do not write points as they are. Write them in a proper sequence, within a meaningful sequence, right? So let's say triangle A, B, and C. Whenever you are writing the name of the first triangle, you can write it in any sequence. But if you are writing the name of the other triangle that is congruent to the first triangle, then we have to write it in a proper sequence. We cannot just write it in any sequence that we wish to. What is the sequence? C. First, AB is the first side. And AB is of 4 centimeters if you look in the figure. So, the next side that should be in the triangle should also be of 4 centimeters. And EF is of 4 centimeters in the other triangle. So, triangle EF. Then, uh, then BC again BC is the next one right you can see here so BC uh, again length is not given but there is a angle of 60 degrees that follows BC and again 60 degrees on E and D so E has already been done so D now fine so triangle EFD becomes our proper sequence fine this is how we basically write the name of the triangle in a given sequence all right now next up what do we see is that the second part again you see that the triangles that are given to us are what see first we have this side length that is given see two angles are given to us one is 90 degrees one is 40 degrees in the first triangle i'm talking so one is 90 degrees the other is 40 degrees and here also one angle is clearly given 50 degrees whereas this is a right angle that means it is 90 degrees fine now you see that this is 90 degrees this is 50 degrees so this third angle this one this also we can find see how that the triangle should be of uh, we know the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees and two angles are 90 degrees and 50 degrees so other angle will be 180 minus 90 plus 50 fine this is what it will be okay so what does this give you 180 minus 140 and that is going to be one uh, sorry that is going to be one uh, 40 degrees right 40 degrees so this one is also of 40 degrees now one angle is 90 degrees other is 40 degrees here also 90 degrees and 40 degrees so angles are of the same measures now we come to the part of sides Remember this, that when angles are not given, we have to find out the angles, right? Nobody else will give it. 
we have to find out the angles using the angle sum property or the other properties that we have studied about the triangles right then side is 3 centimeters and 2.8 centimeter again side is not the same if any of the three things is not the same then what we'll say is that our triangle is not congruent fine so it means that the second part the triangle isn't congruent right so simply we can write it here that it is not congruent or you can write any other thing that you wish no uh, simply no is well it is totally up to you then third part again the angles given to us are 60 degree and 30 degrees fine this is 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees this is uh, 60 degrees this is 30 degrees side also uh, side also me uh, measures 5 centimeters and 5 centimeters so this means that these triangles are congruent fine the, now how are they congruent we write them in a proper sequence again the sequence will be what let's see so first of all if the first side let's take the given side only as the first side that is 5 centimeter rq so triangle rqp right is congruent to now the other triangle should also be in the proper sequence so that becomes what ln is 5 centimeters so triangle l n m now uh, this sequence might not be the same as given in the book because uh, because there are multiple sequences in which we can write the answer of proving this congruency not just rqp you can say pqr as well you can reverse this in that case what will happen the sequence of the other triangle that is l and m will also be reversed so keep this in mind if you are changing the symbol or you can say name of one triangle then the name of the other triangle will also change according to the first triangle so if you change the name of rqp then you have to change the name of lnm you cannot let lnm stay as lnm that will be a wrong sequence fine then the fourth part uh, here you can see that triangles given to us are what um, this one fine now here it's a bit complex but it's going to be pretty easy see one angle is 30 degree one is 30 degree other is 45 degree other is again 45 degrees fine now again you can see this side right this side and uh, this side are common i am talking from d to b and c to a right we are not going from uh, this middle point to b or this point this one not from here no from d and c fine so from uh, this d a and c a both are common fine so now we see that common sides we know we know the angles as well but we must know two angles so that we can find this uh, sum of your uh, this uh, we can basically prove that these triangles are congruent or not fine so you see here that this is 45 degrees and this one also is 45 degrees this tri this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 30 degrees so we can take it from dba right dba to what to cab fine we can prove that these two triangles are congruent in such way you can see the angle is the same and two sides uh, are common as well right basically we have to apply the asa rule fine so you can see angles are given and if sides will be common then angles will also be common what angle am i talking about you see here this right this one this one and uh, this one right you can see that both of these angles are common as well fine and this 30 degree here it's equal and this 30 degree here it's equal as uh, well for, uh, so what I'll write this as let's see so again these triangles are congruent fine so the fourth part it's congruent and how are they congruent we have to write them in a proper sequence as well so first I'll write it as DBA fine so triangle DBA is 
congruent to is congruent to triangle C A B this way we can write it fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourself and bye bye